whining my kindness She's probably from Barry She whining for the action She probably all American She whine with no behavior She probably from Jamaica The whining the bowl and play for She, she from Jamaica Welcome to True Island Story This is part one of the Blue Royal Story the goddess of lust and the blushing parish of Manchester lived a beautiful red boned beauty who called herself Blue Royale. It is rumored her beauty is so enchanting that any man who looks directly in her pupils will immediately fall in love. And if they should get lucky and achieve any form of skins from her, they will immediately lose their soul. Based on overwhelming information gathered from social media, she left Jamaica to visit her neighboring island of Barbados, where it is said an influx of Jamaican girls are going in droves to ply their ways for income. And I don't speak of the kind of jobs you fill out a resume for. In fact, they in flesh are the resume to the nightly carnivorous flesh seekers of Barbados who crave a different kind of delicacy. They who crave the ranking flesh of the fat pum pum Jamaican girls. Several Jamaican girls I'm sure have their stories to tell, but this one seems to have everyone fixated ever since it exploded on the internet. When questioned by Lava, Chat and Lava, famed interneter, and how she got her name Blue Royal. She responded by saying she got it from some English Bible script. Her story, which many have found conflicting, is that she left Jamaica and went to Barbados to visit loved ones. While there, she went to this mall named Gap to shop till she dropped. On what exactly were two sides to her story, we will eventually get to it. Be patient, you mercenaries. While shopping with her cousin, she said she met this dude named Jake, who she found out was a filthy rich pilot from Barbados. The island of Ra, soul boy, mad as cunt boy. <laughs> One look in her captivating eyes, and the goddess of lust, Blue Royal, had him hooked. Her cousin who was with her simply became background noise in the process, in the grand scheme of things. He was speechless. She stretched her hand after seeing that he was struggling to the point of embarrassment and said, Hey, I am Royal, Blue Royal, and you? No words came from the Bayesian lips. He was smitten. In his mind, perhaps, was all kind of pornographic images of him and her replaying on the mental flat screen in his head. Perhaps. But when he finally snapped out of it, he replied, Hi, I'm Jake. It's a pleasure to meet you. And so there it began. He courted her like a queen. He bought them lunch, and then they walked them all together. He then dropped them all afterwards, and they exchanged math. Cell phone numbers, that is. We went out on several more dates. For weeks at end, till they got sexually involved. Then after a couple of weeks of dating, she said she found out he was controlling and very verbally abusive. She also stated he had an ugly temper. He got so abusive in the relationship and controlling, she decided for her own safety, she had to leave him and leave Barbados. And so the goddess of lust withdrew her charms from this now victim but her cupid's arrow had speared his heart deep, and the damage done was irreparable. Then one day, out of the blue, a video was posted on social media by Blue Royale about this madman stalking her in Barbados, and men were allegedly sent to Jamaica to get her. You can translate that whichever which way floats your sinking boat. I am just telling it as I got it. Her mother was also present in the video, which some people gave her ranter of the year. She kept repeating, 
If the dirty Manchester police, they make anything happen to my daughter, oh, I'll become the first lady serial killer in Jamaica. Remember me telling you, remember, oh, them fierce yarn ring call her one day, I should have spit in her. She calling with something. And she said that several times unapologetically. Then they both reiterated that they were scared for Blue's life and the cops basically weren't taking their threat seriously against her life. If that was indeed the case, then certainly they have all right to vent their frustration. But maybe the manner in which they vented left a lot to be desired. Some would think. So that in a nutshell was Blue's side of the story. But remember, to every story, there are three sides. Say it with me. My side. Your side. And the truth. Her story was very believable and garnered tons of sympathy on the internet until Jake, the allegedly stalker, appeared out of nowhere and decided to tell his version, which to many sound pretty. Be convincing. Why Jake look like him sharpening kitchen, bitch? And bust the rope with tidy hog, the goat and the donkey. Then turn around, chop off him to and them kind of say, Yeah, what? Him name a whole back, nothing. Hold on. Meow. You hear that? Had the cat that just get let out of bag. <laughs> All right, not another word. Jake was found to be calm, cool, and collective in making his deliberations. His version to the Blue Royals were night and day, like Cherry Gardens to back to. Remember when Blue said they met at the mall while she was hanging out with her cousin? Well, he said that's a lie. They met in a strip club near the Gap named Tease Go Go Club. Jake told Lava during a live interview that he went to the club and she came to him while he was standing there, you know, milling about, taking in the vibe, you know. All her little vibes, you see me? He said she was wearing a little onesie, as he called it, that covered her breast. And the first thing he said she did was immediately remove the onesie and expose her breast to his delight. When she started giving him a lot of tight fear. She arrived from a katana and I got grip. Feel set a banana na back flick Some things when you can't even talk Y'all dip Your body kick your body Woo. Sexual provocative lap dance Jake dropped Blue and her cousin home As Blue had also stated At least they have something in common Jake said it took him just days to sample the rank in flesh But he too admitted their relationship was tumultuous going forward he stated that she asked him for money to start a clothing business in Jamaica to which he flatly refused to give her. He told her, stay in Barbados, go to school, go do a little clerical job, save your money. He would foot all the expenses. But Blue he wasn't ready to become nobody's wife, let alone in a different country. She missed home, she missed her moms and shit. I mean, she's young, she's a mommy's girl. So she packed up and left Barbados and went home to Jamaica. Jake said she kept asking him for money. It looked as if he had started spoiling her early in their fling because he stated every time she asked him for money and he refused, she would block him from all her contacts on phone or social media. He would then rescind on his hard stands and bust the piggy bank for her. First, he said she needed money only for a down payment on rent and a store. He gave her that. Then she came back for her money to stock the store. He gave her that. Then she came back for her money to furnish it. Then she came back for her money that for a car that was broken down and one fix. Then she come back and said why the car needed was in repossession and she needed to pay off the people them. And then she come back and said why she would figure a jail and she want money. All different kind of story. The funny thing in all of this debacle in all of this run go run come mother scum rascal boy i tell she about she rascal in all of this when jake asked her for a seat for all the money she claimed she spent it on the things she produced not one single one to jake now that 
he said sent up a red flag if it was anybody else. Red flag would have gone up a long time, but to each his own. Jay continued to send money like a Saudi prince. I'm not one to judge because every heart knows its own sorrow. And you can never truly know a man's pain until you walk a mile in his shoes. Or in Jake's case, a mile in Blue Royals. <laughs> Stop right there. I will not entertain this entanglement. I refuse to. At some point, Jay came to the realization that he was being used. A more abrasive term would be scammed, according to Jake's testimonial. He said when he closed the piggy bank, that's when she lashed out and blocked him. And that's when Royal in turn said, in her and her mom's words, the deadly stalking began. And she's now in constant fear for her safety and well-being from this man named Jake, the stalker. But as I have said earlier, there are three sides to every story. We have only heard two we await the third patiently and eagerly we have come to the end of the blue royal story the goddess of lust be sure to smash a like on the like button subscribe and share as we build the true island story channel for your content and lightness Oh, Zara, make his gun. It's sweetie. You love it, team. How it feel? She a ride right, by my katana, and I got grip. Feel sort of banana, and I back flick. Some things when I can't even talk, I'll dip. You might be clear. Hey little mama, how you sexy suck? Bonita Sinarita from Mexico Have the place fizzy like a Pepsi truck Sun in the Drinking rum and smoking joe Remy Yankees from Tokyo Danny boy head top them know the flow Stir Flander It's sweetie You love it team How it feel? I like that So do you like that? Exotic girl, she bad after that Vroom vroom when the katana back Fire gash, be a little jana in the spot Knock your girl out on the side by the back Squeezing clean, put the bean up in there Think not to try love to care Hot hot, bring the fire up in there Hot spot, hot spot She whining from Canada She's probably from Barrier She whining for the action She probably all American She whine with no behavior she probably from Jamaica The wind up all I'm playful She, she from Jamaica Boo. She a ride from a katana and I got grip For bills out a banana and I bag flick Some things when me care of that girl did Your body tick <laughs> Hey little mama how you sexy so Bonita Sinarita from Mexico <laughs> Have the place fizzy like a Pepsi chop Ah uh, nah wah. Drinking rum and smoking joe Remy and kiss from Tokyo Danny Boo head top them do the flow Every night uh, uh. mm, mm, mm. It's sweetie mm, mm, mm. You love it team mm, mm, mm. How it feel? Whining mm, mm, mm. like Tarnado She's probably from Barbados She's fine up all the action She's probably all American She whine with no behavior She's probably from Jamaica from Jamaica, oh, find it like Jordan. She from Barbados, she whine and pull her action. She's probably all American. She whine with no behavior. Probably from Jamaica, she whine with, she whine with. Girl does a whine on 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 a whine. She whine with, she whine, she whine with, she whine. Wine and a 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 wine and